This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio. That's a 12, excuse me, that's a 16 inch round canvas. And I'm gonna do a few strange things with some pillow, with some pillow paint, which is nothing more than latex, semi-gloss, Walmart onyx. And I'm gonna use both black and white based on a little painting that I was playing with right before this that I don't have a video of, sorry. I don't think I'm going to spin anything. That was never the plan. But I will swipe. I'm going to use Color Art Colors. And I wonder if I should wait to add the white until after. The white paint is not strictly the latex, semi-gloss. It has my leftover that I need to get rid of, um, mead and white. I'm not going to try and join them together. And I will be using palette knives, maybe the one I've got there. And we'll see what happens. I want to use a different palette knife right out of the gate. See how I am? So I'm going to grab, ah, I want a medium sized palette knife. You know what? I'm going to use a different one. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to start with Amsterdam black with Aussie Floetrol, a little bit of white, Amsterdam white, and some Pebeo iridescent gold. I'm just gonna little by little gonna peck away at it. I'm gonna wipe off my palette knife in between. Put some black down, some white down, and some gold down, same as I just did. Oops. Well, that wasn't part of the plan. I might tip. It could still happen. I do have a damp studio rag. If I want to get something off, it's a good time to try it. So I'm going to wipe that off again. And go right back in the beginning, and I'm going to do the white and the black. And the gold, and after I do the center section, I'll decide if I have some other colors that I want to use. But I'm te really tempted at this point to um, to spin it. At least the thought of spinning it when I'm done has more than crossed my mind. Now I keep wiping that off, but I. I actually can save it in a scrape dish, which is something I like to do because I sometimes use that paint. So far I'm not hating that and I think I'm going to use, what have I got? I've got Aussie Floetrol and Ginger Flower. So I'll use some of that, maybe on the black. I'll do the white first. Do half gold and half ginger flower. I might wind up putting some dots in there. I like that. So I'm going to try it with the white on this side. Use the black. I think I'm going for just the ginger flower. I don't see any of the gold over there particularly. Oh, the ginger flower sunk right away. 
So I'm not even sure it's going to show up. This could be a stage one, too. Just my practice sessions, basically, have led me to want to do more practice sessions, basically. Let's go for the white. A whole bunch of gold, some of the ginger flower. The combination of a few of colors of cell activator seems to work for me and everybody else a lot better than just one. I'm going to do my other side because I've got a little mouse tail over there. Although I kind of like the white. That doesn't mean I couldn't go back and add some too. Or steal some to, to utilize. Gotta stop fiddling. Not sure what I'm doing there. But I'm just starting so. I might also be just finishing, really. Let's do a bunch of black. Spread out with a whole bunch of gold on it. I'm surprised I wound up using the small palette knife. I do have small acetate tools and there's a really good chance that I'm going to endeavor to use them in a minute. Assuming I clean them, because I might like to have something in here that's that ginger flower color. Let's do Amsterdam white. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I wish it would stay that way. I don't think it will. But it might. I do have a Pebeo Blue Violet that's a cell activator that's gorgeous. And it would actually, whoops, oh, I guess that's staying. I would actually like a whole bunch more gold. So I'm going to try that over here with my residual colors also. Remind me that the acetate tools, remind me there's a video tutorial if you don't see the acetate tool video underneath. I just want to keep going and I don't really want that there. not sure I got away with cleaning that up, but I can always add another layer of black. I kind of want to put some gold in there, and I've got to decide whether it's Indian Spice. I wasn't sure I was going to like that for a minute, but I kind of do. Just dipped it in some of my residual. I want to play with some of that iridescent blue-violet. I don't have a lot of color in here. I'm not sure I need a lot of color in here. But I am basically experimenting. Makes me want to swivel this around. Take the break out. 
see how I like it. I'm thinking I could go on. Here's a little more white. And throw some black on there. Probably need a much larger tool, but you never know. Gotta try everything. This time I'm gonna leave some of that white, I think, because I like it. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. It's okay, I'm gonna wipe it off. So I like that, it reminds me of some kind of tree. <laughs> Uh, don't use the cell activator for the white you want to add. Nope, still have no particular plan. <laughs> I have no idea what I've decided to do. But I'm going to keep using palette knives and I am going to keep playing with this. I'm going to use the black and then the gold. And I'm kind of liking that. This looks a little messy here. Let's grab something to fill that in. I think I want something over here. I hope I don't run out of time. Just want to spread it out a little bit before I start. I'm going to start this time with some of the iridescent blue violet from Pebeo and then move on to the black and see how that works. I had to take advantage. I could see the paint running down the palette knife. I don't know if that'll stay or not. It makes me want some carnival. Although I'm pretty close to thinking I might be done actually. Indian spice. You know what? I really think I'm very close to being done. At least whether this is stage one or done, I'm not sure. But it's just sort of um, sleek. Sleek and cheek. I will indulge myself in a few dots. So let me grab a skewer. The tiny end has a little bit of a paintball on it. That might be perfect. Perfect thing to camouflage little smudges. I really like the 
the little tiny gold dots. I once did a piece where I just dotted around the whole outside of it after the video. This is cool. I can outline my black so it actually has substance. I kind of want to take that blue violet and do the same thing. I love the cells in here. I think I'm going to grab a little bit of black from in here. Put a spiral right there. And another one right there. They're going to be subtle. Boy, I sure do know how to get rid of 20 minutes fast. Let's use some black to do this. This is turning into a series I've been doing lately. And at this point, it's kind of simple. And very chic. I like it. A lot. I'm gonna have to fix this. Whoop. <laughs> True words were never spoken. So, I do sell my artwork, or I used to. If you'd like to buy something, I'd love to sell it to you. <laughs> Just saying. Check out the Color Art coupon code underneath the video. It's for 20% off. I'm a Color Art affiliate, so that will definitely be of assistance to me if you decide to uh, go shopping. And I recommend Color Art very much. I love the prism pores and the primary elements. I didn't use them for a while, but I am now, and I'm really happy with them. So just a little dot of white in the black will, will make a beautiful striated spiral. A little dot of black in the in the multi will do something similar. Let me get down there. What have I not told you? I haven't told you anything. <laughs> um, please like my videos. When you like and share, you help me out, and I really appreciate it. I think that looks like a fairly decent composition. I'm going to have to get down and... Uh, it's pretty subtle for me. I mean, it's not like brilliantly colored or anything. It's got very, very few colors. This one little thing here is kind of bugging me, though. Just want to fill that... Fill that little spot in. I don't know why. Little things like that. I'm, I always wonder when other, other artists do that. So there may not be a whole lot of sparkle. Oh, and my the area of my camera that, that tunes in is not focusing correctly in the right spot. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for your kind words and your comments to keep my morale boosted. I hope you come again. I post at 3.15 Eastern Standard Time, seven days a week. Right now, that could change soon. I'm thinking about going to three days a week because nobody's... I don't have a lot of people watching. Um, if you'd like to reach me, my email address is EASPV and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. My paint pouring recipes are underneath the video, should you want them. I'm going to zoom all the way down in there because those cells are the bomb. They are just gorgeous. I'm so glad I did this. Ha! Huh. I'm not so glad I did my muck up, but I think I can fix it. So, um, thank you for everything. I'll see you guys anon. And uh, Priscilla, out. Oh, you know what? I have 2,600 videos, and you can find them. I go to playlists, all playlists, created playlists. And should you want to check out tomorrow's video, you can find it usually on my community board, which is easily accessible from going to my channel. Just click on my face or the name of my channel and you'll find it. Questions are fine. Please ask if you want to. And uh, know my link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. And there are 